Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be here, and I'm also very scared. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult to come out and talk about something that's very personal to you. I have muscular dystrophy, and I'm a part-time user of a chair. And that can have some unique changes and challenges for anyone. As an association executive, I hope you see me as an energetic, passionate, and person that can do what they need to do. What I hope you don't see is a whining, childlike, <laughs> weak little kid that can't do anything and needs to have help done. But worse yet, I don't want to be invisible. I need to be seen. I'm not rich, I'm not famous, I'm not Prince, I'm not a Xavier. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just me and I'm doing the best I can. And I am going to be needing some help from all of you. Being in a chair, my chair, is very similar to the electric chair. There's no escape. It's a life sentence. There's not going to be a life you know, pardon coming down. And I really don't know anyone that would switch places with me. But one of the challenges, the biggest challenge, is the job search. When do you come out of the closet about having a disability? How do you come out? How do you tell them that you need some special accommodations? It's bad enough looking for a new job. The business lunch is a really slight discomfort. I can't pick out what pretty shoes. I have to just put on my braces. And I have to worry about whether it's accessible or not, whether or not I like the food is really irrelevant. The business trip is huge. I have to worry about getting stuff in a suitcase that I can carry because I travel alone. A lot of you I see with all these suitcases dragging them through, and I'm like, oh, gosh, I wish I could do that. So you'll see me with little suitcases. I can't pick up the phone and just call a cab or go to the curb. I have to plan ahead. I have to figure out how am I going to get to the airport? Will they have a shuttle? You'd be shocked at how many cities do not have shuttles to get people in chairs. At the airport, I don't get to go through that cool scanner. I get like this invasive body search. And as you can see, one lady got stripped down naked in her wheelchair and says, I'm done. Getting to the counter, there's a lot of luggage in the way. There's people. It's really not so easy getting into the bathroom because everybody wants the big stall. And uh, <laughs> if, <laughs> if it's available, you don't want to go in there. <laughs> My scooter needs to fit into them. Uh, checking in at the hotel at all of these events, um, I can't just get that key. You know, I have to run around or have them come to me. And sometimes it's really difficult to reach across to get into my hotel room. So some of these disadvantages. Plugging in for me is a whole different experience. Uh, I have to move some furniture to make sure that the scooter can get charged, because I don't know if you saw me at the Cowboy Stadium when I ran out of power, but I had a little meltdown. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a little bit in, challenging. Omni does a great job with their closets, but some not so much. They figure, let's just put a bar in so she can hang her clothes, and oh, let's leave the safe there because, you know, you can just kind of move things around. Trying to reach things in the hotel, um, ADA looks at it as a one-size-fits-all, but in a chair, sometimes you can't get the coffee or you can't get into the bathroom with your scooter, and when you want to get ready, you can't see yourself in the mirror because it's a little bit high. Coming to events like ASAE, um, there are barriers here and there. And when I get through the barriers, I sometimes find myself trapped because there'll be poles and ropes in the way. And this is my view of the ribbon table. So when I go to pick out all my rainbows of ribbons, I just get to see the little side parts. So you will see me asking for help. Can you show me that ribbon? Can you get that for me? This is the best view. <laughs> So networking events and buffet lines look all the same to me. <laughs> so what I'm asking for each of you is to, to be aware of those that might be shorter. Um, acknowledge the presence. Don't just see that cloak of invisibility. And ask if someone needs help. Of course, let me have my dignity. Let me have my independence. But the most thing that's important to me is how I see myself. And I'm hoping to have each of you there too. Thank you.